To work with scripts, the very first thing we need to do is to create a script. There are many ways to create a script. You can go to Asset, Create, and choose C Sharp Script from there. Inside the project panel, you can choose Create, C Sharp Script. You can also right click it, Create, and C Sharp Script. There's also another way to create and attach at the same time. So let's just say that you want to create a script on the directional light here to control day cycle perhaps. You can click on Add Components, scroll all the way down to the bottom here, click Add Script, and at this point you can name it and click Create and Add. So let's go ahead and create, actually let's create a folder in here so we can keep our scripts organized. I'm just going to call this Scripts. And inside this folder, just I have the folder selected, so I'm going to right click it, Create Script, and I'm going to call one call. I'm going to create one call main, main player script. That's it. Once you have your script created and you have it selected, you can also you can actually see the the a preview of the contents of your script inside the inspector panel. Now to open your script, you can right click and open or you can double click. Now, if you have multiple text editors in your system, you can choose your preferred text editor for the script by going to edit, preference, external tools, and then you can you can pick your IDE from here. I like to use uh, Visual Studio 2017, so that's what I have selected. If your, if your uh, preferred ID is not showing up on the list, you can always browse to your preferred ID. So in this case, I can choose Visual Studio Code, which was already on the list for me. But that's how I added, I, I browse to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Visual Studio 2017 again. Once I have it selected, I'm gonna double click the main player script that's going to open up my script in Visual Studio 2017. All newly created scripts inherit from Mono Behavior, and the body of the script comes with uh, two functions defined, the start function and the update function. The start function is called at the very beginning of the gameplay, and it's always called before the very first time that the update function is called. This is, um, this is a good place to, to set your, the initial values of your variables. So let's just say in this main player script, let's just say that we have a variable here that holds the health of the player. And at the very start of the game, we want to set that variable to perhaps 100. Once you have that set at 100, then you can use the variable within the update function. Now, the update function is a function that is called many, many times per second. So if, you, if your game is running at... 60 frames per second, this function is being called 60 times per second. This is where you're going to put the the code to handle user input to move a player to raise events. This is the this is the main function that actually runs the game. 